slideshows often featured modified marbles, self-made freaks if you will. The tattooed lady with detailed illustrations permanently etched into her skin. The pierced man with a face full of earrings, nose studs, tongue bars and other jewellery. But these performers are not the only ones that altered their body for the stage. In today's episode of Unusual as Usual, we're looking into the indulgence of the world's most beautiful fat lady, aka Dolly Dimples. Celesta Herman was born on the 18th of July 1901 in Cincinnati to a German-American family where overeating was quite normal. Six times a day, the family would sit down together to enjoy extra large portions of their favorite food. This, of course, led to the beginnings of a weight issue. She would get bullied in school and her parents' way of soothing her hurt feelings would be to provide her with more home-cooked food. By age 12, she weighed just over 150 pounds, 68 kilograms, and by 18, she weighed over 300 pounds, 136 kilograms. A little after a year, and she rocked the scales at a staggering 400 pounds, 181 kilograms. Despite, or perhaps because of, her girth, Herman was considered strikingly attractive and she had several suitors. She worked in factories, sold cosmetics and worked as a manicurist before meeting and marrying Frank Gaynor, a man of normal weight. Her career began in 1927 when the two visited the Happyland Carnival in Michigan and noticed that she weighed 50 pounds more than the fat lady they were currently employing. Celeste's stage name was Dolly Dimples, although sometimes she was billed as Jolly Dolly or Dolly Gainer. Either way, the short 4 foot 11 woman made it her mission to balloon up to over 500 pounds, 226 kilograms over the next few years, thanks to a strict diet of high calorie foods. As she recalled, I ate from the time I got up until I went to bed. Her daily diet typically consisted of five pounds of meat, four pounds of potatoes, four loaves of bread, a gallon of fresh milk, and almost two pounds of sugar, mostly consumed in the form of baked goods such as cakes and pastries. Dolly Dimples, the world's most beautiful fat lady, a title given to her due to her flawless skin. She was also an accomplished singer and impersonator of celebrities of the day. Dolly's act became a huge hit on the sideshow circuit, and by the late 1930s, they were working for the Ringland Brothers Barnum & Bailey Circus, earning $400 a day, the equivalent of $28,000 a week in today's money. By this time, Dolly was consuming approximately 10,000 calories daily, over six times the recommended daily allowance. She seemed to enjoy every aspect of gaining weight. From eating copious amounts of food to measuring her ever-expanding waistline. And by the time she was in her 40s, her weight peaked at 588 pounds, 266 kilograms. And she sported measurements of 74, 68, 84. Dolly and Frank toured for over 20 years, spending their off-season in a home they bought in Florida. The house became a haven for Dolly, away from the hustle and bustle of the midway and prying eyes of the crowds. It was fitted out with suitably sized furniture, a reinforced bed and a double-sized walk-in shower. Her weight eventually caught up with her and she began to suffer physically, making travelling with the circus much more difficult. It all came to a head in 1950, when she suffered a massive heart attack. She survived, barely, and after recovering, vowed to lose some weight. Dolly followed a strict 800 calorie per day diet, and in little more than a year, she lost not just some weight, but over a third of her total body weight, which she maintained for the rest of her life. 
after this dramatic 434 pound, that's 197 kilogram weight loss, she regained her health and became an avid advocate of healthy eating and exercise, living healthily for a further 30 years. So impressive was Dolly's weight loss that she was recognized as an official Guinness World Record holder for the fastest weight loss ever by a woman. Now, an ex-fat lady, you may think that she'd be out of a job. You'd be wrong. She published an autobiography in 1968 called Diet or Die, the Dolly Dimples weight reducing plan. And in her later years, Dolly ran a small art gallery before passing in 1982, aged 81. Today, if you're overweight, or in some cases, even if you're not, you may be encouraged to lose weight or see a doctor. But in the 1930s, extremely overweight people could join the circus and become overnight stars. Stories just like Dolly's are reflected in modern day TV shows, such as American Horror Story Freak Show, which features a fictional fat lady character called Ima Wiggles. Dolly Dimples was a larger than life character with a larger than life story, so it's quite fitting that she was inducted into Coney Island Sideshow's Hall of Fame in 2014. And there we have it, the most beautiful fat lady, AKA Dolly Dimples. Of course, nowadays we understand that being overweight can lead to some serious health issues. But what are your thoughts on drastically altering the size of your body in this way? Whether it be gaining or losing weight? Let me know in the comment section below. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's all we've got time for today. But until next week, stay unusual as usual. If you've enjoyed this video, you might like this one too. If you want to see more modified marbles, you can check out the full playlist by clicking here. Don't forget to ring that bell to make sure you don't miss out on next week's video. And if you have any ideas on what the next episode should be about, make sure you add it to the comment section below.